Hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am so excited for this video today because I'm going to be telling you about this, a brand new AOS Supernova motor and it's a big one, the AOS Supernova 3220. This is a motor designed for 10 inch Cinelifters, wings and a world drone speed record attempt. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through all the key features of this motor on the bench and then we're going to be looking at the performance numbers, which are quite frankly bonkers. It's going to be an awesome video. I can't wait to show you everything. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into it. If you or someone you know needs an ultra high performance custom motor design for a drone or other electric vehicle, 100% designed in the UK with flexible manufacturing in China or elsewhere, then please do get in touch, chris at aosrc.com, and I hope we can work together. So here it is, the AOS Supernova 3220. And let me take you through all of the key features nice and quickly. We have a hardened steel five millimeter shaft that's been center drilled top and bottom to reduce weight. And the shaft is 18 millimeters long with a six millimeter shoulder to better suit the larger props that you're gonna run on these motors. The prop gripping feature on the top of the motor bell is also slightly larger, again, to better hold larger props. And the cutout pattern on the top of the motor is the same as other supernovas to give the minimum possible weight, but also the maximum open area to allow air to flow down through the motor and cool the windings. The windings are thick single core copper windings with 250 degrees C rated insulation on them and they are designed to be incredibly robust. So even if you're putting enormous amounts of power into this motor, for example because you're a certain South African friend of mine trying to break a world drone speed record, the motor is designed to withstand that abuse without smoking because of that very very high temperature insulation. In terms of the magnets, we have a very precise amount of overhang of the magnets on the stator to give the maximum possible containment of the magnetic field and the maximum possible torque. And we also have um, a slightly thicker flux ring than is typical on motors of this size, again, to better contain that magnetic field and to provide more flux in the air gap for more torque and power out of the motor. In terms of the air gap, the air gap is incredibly tight for a 32 millimeter motor. And this is down to RCM Power's manufacturing tolerances. They're able to hold a very, very tight air gap. And again, that increases the magnetic flux in the air gap to provide more torque and power from the motor. The magnets are a custom arc magnet to uh, get the maximum possible width, again, to kind of increase the um, field strength in the air gap. And all of this together means that this motor provides significantly more torque and power than any other 3220 um, that's on the market right now. The bearings are 13 millimeter bearings. So there are big chunky bearings to help deal with the large amount of force and torque that's gonna to be put through them. The motor wires are 16 AWG, 250 millimeters long with thin silicon insulation. So you're getting the benefit of that extra copper cross section to carry the current to the motor, but without the penalty of extra weight. At the top of the motor, we have an O-ring to cushion the, uh, the rotor in a shock, a heavy landing or a crash and that just helps keep the bearings running smoother for longer when you're flying these types of motors. In terms of KV, we have two different KVs, a 700 KV variant for 10 inch cinder lifters on 8S and a 925 KV variant for 10 inch cinder lifters on 6S. And the only difference between these two motors is the KV of the windings. As well as these two KV variants, which are designed for 10 inch multi-rotors, either quadcopters or X8s, I've also been working with TBS on a version specifically designed for power cruiser wings, driving an eight inch prop at between six to eight S battery voltage. This version has an even higher KV. It's around a thousand KV and a slightly different construction. It's got a two piece rotor rather than a Unibel design, but it's, it's fundamentally optimized for that wing application. You might also be interested in it if you're looking to go really, really, really fast with a quadcopter because at around 1000 kV, 3220 size on 12S with a seven by 12 inch pitch prop, that's world record territory. So just some information for you if you do wanna go really, really fast. Now, without further ado, it's time to take a look at the performance of this motor with some hard data. Let's start by looking at the data from the thrust testing. And I tested these motors on HQ 10 by five by three props 
at 8S battery voltage, so that's 32 volts. We ramped the throttle from 10 to 100%, and as you can see, we got these nice thrust curves. In general, the T-Motor 3120-700kV generated the least thrust across the board, and its maximum thrust on the HQ 10x5x3 was about 5.1 kilos or so. Moving up to the X Nova 3220, this was the best performing 3220 that I had tested previously, and it delivered a maximum thrust of 5.3 kilos. The AOS Supernova 3220 delivers about 10 to 15% more thrust than these two motors, and it tops out at 5.85 kilos on the same HQ 10x5x3 running on 8S battery voltage. If you were to move up to a slightly steeper pitch prop, like a 10x5.5x3, then you would easily break six kilos with this motor. Now let's move on to look at motor efficiency. And this is measured again using a throttle ramp, but this time we're looking at the mechanical power delivered by the motor compared to the amount of electrical power that it's consuming. In general, the X Nova and T motor 31 and 3220 motors were very, very similar in terms of their efficiency across the whole throttle range, all the way from about 50 watts mechanical all the way up to 1300 watts mechanical or so. And they were sitting anywhere between about 77 and 78% efficient. The AOS Supernova 3220 is significantly more efficient than either of those two motors, and it's between 3 to 6% more efficient depending on um, where you are looking in the throttle band. So if you're looking kind of low down, it's about 6% more efficient. So we're moving from about 78% up to about 84% efficient. And if you're looking high in the throttle, um, where you're up at sort of over a thousand watts of mechanical power, then the efficiency gain is between three and 4%. So you're moving from about 77% up to about 80 or 81%, depending on exactly where you're looking in the throttle band. This extra efficiency is going to give you longer flight times and it's also going to mean that the motor doesn't get so hot when you're delivering a lot of thrust or a lot of power for a long period of time. Looking now at motor responsiveness, and it's a similar story to the previous graphs we've already looked at, with the T motor performing the worst with an acceleration of 53, 54,000 RPM per second and a deceleration of 41,000 RPM per second. The X Nova did significantly better with an acceleration of 64,500 RPM per second and a deceleration of 47,000 RPM per second. But the improved magnetic design of the Supernova 3220 allows it to exceed um, those other two motors and deliver an acceleration of 66,500 RPM per second and a deceleration of above 50,000 RPM per second, which is the most responsive 3220 motor that I've tested. The final thing to look at is motor weight. So starting with the T motor 3120, this is with nine inch wires and it comes in at 146.1 grams. If we go to the X Nova with the same nine inch wires, that's coming in at 157.2 grams. And then the Supernova 3220, again with nine inch wires, that's coming in at 165.2 grams. As you can see, the Supernova 3220 weighs about 5% more than the X Nova. And that's primarily due to extra material in the flux ring and magnets to increase the field strength in the air gap of the motor. Overall, this is going to increase a typical 10 inch lifter by about half a percent in terms of weight, whilst delivering a 10% increase in maximum thrust and a 5% increase in motor efficiency. So I hope you'll agree that the trade-off is well worth it for these larger drones. Now the improvements in thrust and efficiency that we've been able to achieve with the AOS Supernova 3220 are down to the magnetic design of the motor. The magnetic design is responsible for keeping as much of the magnetic field strength within the motor as possible, and also concentrating that field strength within the air gap between the stator and the rotor so that we have the maximum field strength to generate torque and power from the motor. I've got a nice little demo to show you what I mean um, about magnetic design. So here's a little demo that I've put together to show you the difference in magnetic performance between these motors. So the Supernova has a very thin kind of aluminium uh, layer on the outside of the steel flux ring because it's a unibel design. So I've replicated that thin aluminium layer with some tape on these motors to the same thickness. If we start with the T motor, we can see that if I take an M3 steel screw, I can stick that screw 
to the T-motor very easily and it will stay. I can kind of move it around and that screw isn't going anywhere. And the reason for that is that magnetic field is leaking out of the flux ring and that magnetic field is able to capture the screw and hold it against the motor. Now let's do the same test on the X Nova. Now the X Nova has uh, actually some uh, bigger, stronger magnets than what are in the T motors and actually means the screw sticks even better to the X Novas. So again, let's do it just on the area where we've got the right thickness of tape. And again, that steel screw just sticks and it's not going anywhere. Again, we've got magnetic field leaking out of the rotor and it's able to capture the screw and hold it in place. Now I'm going to do the same test on the supernova. So we have um, actually very similar thickness of magnet in the supernova compared to the X Nova, but because the magnetic design is better, there is absolutely nothing that you can do to get this screw to stick. I'm going to put it on the top of the motor and I'll just turn the motor to the side and it just falls straight off. And the reason for that is that there's just no magnetic field leaking out of this motor. All of the magnetic field is contained inside the steel flux ring. It's all directed back in towards the air gap and used to generate more torque and more power out of the motor. And of course, that also improves the motor efficiency as well. So that is, I guess, a quick, simple demonstration of how the magnetic design of this motor is superior to the other ones we tested and, and how that's able to deliver more torque and power and better efficiency. I'm really pleased to have been able to show you what we've been able to do with the new AOS Supernova 3220. If you'd like to pick up a set of Supernovas to try for yourself, either the new 3220 for a larger 10 inch lifter or a wing, or one of the smaller sizes, the 2807 for a seven inch drone or the 2207 for a five inch drone, then everything you need to know is down in the video description. There are links to where you can learn more and links to where you can pick up these motors to try today. That's all I have for you for today. So until next time, I wish you all very, very happy flying.